This morning, crews are continuing to search for the remains of the victims lost in the key bridge collapse. Meanwhile, efforts to clean up the debris and remove the cargo ship could take weeks or even months, and getting back to a fully functioning replacement bridge could take years. Thanks for staying with us here at WJZ. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Cena Gebra Ab. Right now, local, state, and federal agencies are all working together to help Baltimore get back on our feet. Joining us now live is Mayor Brandon Scott. Mayor Scott, thank you for joining us. What can you tell us about the search efforts by local authorities today for those six victims? Well, Cena, you just said it. this is an effort by local, state, and federal. Authorities, uh, folks are going to be working very hard. We know that the weather today will present some challenges to that. Uh, but our fire department, the county fire department, fire departments from around the state, our police department, the county's police department, state police departments, all these agencies who have dive teams and folks who have the experience and training on doing something like this are out there trying to uh, find uh, 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 these victims and bring them. Uh, home to their families so that they can have some sort of closure. Uh, and that's what we're, we're, where our thoughts are today because we cannot uh, forget those families and what they're what they're going through right now. And we know uh, that they know that they won't be coming back alive, but to be able to uh, uh, have them have a proper funeral uh, and burial and things that we need to do for closure is what those uh, first responders are doing right now. Mayor, of course, we're very quickly, uh, a number of agencies came together, federal leaders came together, uh, all of them here and present. What have they told you about what they plan to do in terms of helping Baltimore to recover from this? Well, Vic, I heard from President Biden himself yesterday. And what you all saw him say in his uh, press conference yesterday, I know he said to me, to Governor Moore, to County Executive Osheski, uh, that first and foremost, his intention is to have the federal government pay for all all of the rebuild and helping us through every single part of this process and i know him as a man of his word so they're going to be here uh, that's why he dispatched uh, transportation secretary Buttigieg yesterday i also heard from the homeland security director from the department of justice uh, yesterday this federal government has always been uh, a great partner to baltimore but especially in times like this and we know that we have that great relationship between the president the governor and myself all of our local and state state leaders so that we can work together as we work through this unspeakable tragedy and we know search crews, first responders have been working tirelessly over the last 24 hours and will continue to do so in the coming days and likely weeks as well. How can we support them as they continue to do that? Well, listen, I think the first thing, we have to pray for them as well. This is very dangerous work that they're doing in a place where we know the conditions aren't the best, right? I have to support their work, their families, lift them up in prayer as well. Uh, there's things that are coming in people are sending food my office and we, we're and other folks are helping to coordinate those things as they come in uh, as we always do in a time like this but really the thing is to give them space to allow them to do their work and lift them up in your thoughts and prayers because we want them to be protected as well as they do their work each and every day Mayor Brandon Scott, thank you so much for getting up early and being with us this morning. Of course, uh, thoughts, prayers from uh, us here at WJZ with everyone who's involved uh, in the search effort and this recovery. Again, thank you so very much.